Yobos, this is We to Play the Brenton Brushworks of YouTube, and welcome to my reaction to the Pokemon 2019 Pref Conference. Yays! Um, apparently I didn't space out my Pokemon very well. Uh, why I'm doing that, let me explain how today's gone. Technology has been absolutely against me. Everything that could go wrong, did go wrong. Everything. I haven't barely been able to upload anything. I haven't been able to convert to anything because I don't even know why. Just so many things have gone astray today, and I'm just burnt out on it. Okay, Vanessa, just stay there. So, I'm hoping that this news that I'm watching right now, that just started and I can't hear, will make up for it. This is, this is just the waiting part, isn't it? Oh, no. Just how much did I just mess up on this video? At least I like the music. Is it starting? Please tell me it's starting. It looks like it's starting. You wanna hop up here, Zoom? It's starting. Let's see what we got. Hopefully I don't drop my poor little Pikachu while I'm wait watching. Looks great so far. I'm surprised by how much effort they're putting into this. I mean, maybe I shouldn't be. I, I just thought it would be a couple of announcements. Some videos. Good morning. Trailer, I'm Shimmer from the Pokemon Company. But anyways. Pokemon Business Strategy Announcement. Maybe I should live stream this. Oh, well. Thank you for taking the time to attend today's Pokemon Business Strategy Announcement. I'm going to have to edit this video later, just so I can... Ah, dang it, Zoo! You, you fell. Today, I would like to reveal yeah. some upcoming Pokemon projects that we are working right, on with I'll our partners to give you a preview of the future of Pokemon. This happy. Oh, I, I can't look for it now. I can't add every single Pokemon I have to my couch. Anyways. Fancy poor Blitz. Blitz, where are you? Blitz. Blitz. We'll, we'll put you with Zoo. Because you're special like that. So yeah, I'll probably edit this later and show my reactions to the actual trailers and news because I'll probably be a little bit more exciting than what I'm doing right now. I digress. As you can already tell, our announcements today will be made not just in Japanese and English, but also in Chinese. This is because going forward, we plan to deliver more of our services to Pokemon fans who are native speakers of Chinese. Cool. It's the little things that count. behind me, if you could see them. But... For the rest of today's presentation, we will switch to simultaneous translation. This will be interesting. First, I would like to talk about Someone movies, the mic. including Pokemon's first Hollywood film, Detective Pikachu. Ooh. Allow me to invite... Mr. Matsuoka. I like Pokemon that movie. Stage. I like it a lot.
Good morning, Sorry, everyone. To... I'm Masoka from Toho. Toho almost this rhymes with Toho. Announcement. But the day after tomorrow... Can we just cut that out? Can we just cut that part out? I will be appointed no, as an necessary. external board member to the Pokemon Company's board of directors. I look forward to working more closely with the company. As you all know, Detective Pikachu de He's debuted so in theaters on May 3rd and has received a lot of praise around the world. As a movie based on a Japanese IP, it's right up there with Godzilla in terms of box office success. Whoa. I mean, I knew it was Toho. big. Toho was an investor in the Detective Pikachu project, and we also handled the distribution it. in Japan. Comparing it to Godzilla. We have this summer's movie coming up, and we look forward to take on new creative challenges alongside Pokemon in the movie business in the future. I'm looking forward to that one. Honestly. And while I shouldn't be promoting the new Godzilla movie here today, <laughs> for those who want to see Ken Watanabe on the big screen again, I hope you will find your way to theaters starting the day after tomorrow. Thank you. Back to you, Mr. Ishihara. Wonderful shameless plug. Had nothing to do with Pokemon that time. It was nice of you to so casually insert that bit of news that was so completely unrelated to Pokemon. Yep, Thank you. yep. Thumbs up. Setting Godzilla Thumbs up for aside, you. The Detective Pikachu movie was based on a Nintendo 3DS game of the same name. Are they going for a sequel? One of the three sequel? companies involved in the original creation of Pokemon called Creatures developed it. Is some of the people the speculating on YouTube right about this? The 3DS game a cliffhanger. Oh no. But the conclusion to the story... Oh, no! ...to Nintendo Switch. No! No! I haven't finished it! No! I look forward to seeing a different take mm. on the ending to the story than what you but, saw in theaters. But it's cool that it's coming to the Switch. That's awesome. What am I uh, looking at? at? Those are from the movie, right? Shanghai Airport in Singapore which is one of the premier airports in Asia, a massive commercial facility called Jewel was opened. Boy, I'm definitely going to need to finish the Detective Pikachu LP Pokemon before Center, I Singapore. get my mitts on the sequel for the Switch. This store represents our flagship location in the region. Pokemon Centers are I'm not just so shops for Pokemon products. I would love to go to a Pokemon Center store. Fun for Pokemon fans. Oh my god. Together and enjoy a variety of software Being and hardware stuck services. Stuck in the northern western states is such a inconvenience for me. Considering I don't Center, ever travel. I would like to invite the president of Pokemon Center, Mr. Uego, onto stage. So is this not just about the games? I'm Uego from Pokemon Center. Today's conference is being held in the Shibuya district of Tokyo, which is a major cultural center of Japan and world-renowned tourist destination. And it will see the Shibuya Parko Shopping Center Ooh. open soon. Which will also be the home of our newest Pokemon Center <laughs> that we are calling Pokemon Center Shibuya. We are planning to open at the same time as Shibuya are. Parko in fall See, of this there's year. there's Pikachu and then there's this one more Pokemon mascot Center that's added to each individual Pokemon Center that merges Pokemon in Japan. I know about that. the latest technology and with support from other partners will surely become not just a place to shop, to shop, but an exciting destination for Pokemon fans to visit. Please take a look at the short video which shows off the concept. Wow, that was an interesting flub. Oh, there's a new As you can see in the video, uh, the new location will feature a stylish black design ooh, with a Mewtwo wow. statue positioned at the entrance. Stylish black and white. We look forward to delivering a new Pokemon Center experience that visitors will want to tell their friends and family about. And also building a mutually enriching relationship But seriously, with the that looks Shibuya really sweet. That's it from Pokemon really Center. Really nice. Back to you, Mr. Ishara. But it totally reminded me of Pokemon Black and White. Not gonna lie. 
in the same Shibuya Parko shopping center in which we are opening our Pokemon Center, it was recently announced that there are plans for a Nintendo Tokyo store to open. Is that like we want Nintendo Tokyo be in the same and building? Pokemon Center Shibuya to be good partners and are working on collaborations to provide even more better experiences to See, customers. It's interesting of because back in With New Pokemon York, it, and there used Tokyo, to be a Pokemon Center store there, but that Shibuya got Parko changed to Nintendo in Y. A destination for fans of video it still, games. Excuse me, and it still sells Pokemon products, but. Like it's not one of the big Pokemon marketplaces you can find Mr. in Japan. Just a little food for thought, my 10 cents on the idea. 10 cents on the... I can't figure out what I'm trying to say! NetEase is the second oh, largest game okay. developer in the world with an annual active user base of over 550 million globally. What are all those Since games? 2001, I can't read them. NetEase has developed you know, over 200 games in multiple genres. With massive How popularity. How long is that joke going to last? Up to this April, four of the top ten most popular games in China are made by NetEase. Uh, okay, never mind. Since the very beginning, we've always been dedicated to creating the best and innovative games for game lovers. Today, we are honored to announce that we're releasing the first official Pokemon games in China, Pokemon Quest. Please look at screen. Yep, that's Pokemon Quest, Pokemon Quest, China. Pokemon Quest as they call it. the core experience of the global version while adding PvP and social Still systems. We'll need to go back to that video game. Over 1.7 million players have already pre-registered for the game it, and we've seen a lot of I want to get to this certain part fans. first. We will continue to work closely so with the Pokemon I'll have Company to and Game Freak on my Pokemon Quest quote, trying Pokemon to create this LP. game with our passion. Um, in the future, this upcoming we will bring week. more interesting Pokemon games into China. Please stay tuned. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Ethan Wong. Ooh, that got loud. The development of this powered-up version of Pokemon Quest is progressing at a speed I haven't seen before in Japan, and I continue to be amazed by NetEase's technical ability. And they all love Pokemon, too. Making this Pokemon very much a Quest passion wasn't project like for the one team. of the bigger spin-off games. We believe we have found a great partner with NetEase. Allow me to welcome another guest for our next announcement. It's possible they're going to talk about some of the Pokemon um, cell phone app projects that they have in mind that they're going to do. I know one of them, but there's a secret one that... We don't know anything Hello, about. I'm Masuda from Game Freak. Yay! Today, I think we're gonna get the good stuff I'm now. Here to talk about the future of Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon was born as a video game for the Game Boy and has evolved into a wide variety of content, beloved by trainers all around the world. Mm -hmm. With the release of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee for Nintendo Switch as well as Pokemon it. Go, we have also seen a large number of new players. I will be happy Pokemon if the they say something about Pokemon result, Let's Go years, being Johto games. Has broader, I'll be happy if I see that. Before. At the same time, we also have a great many players who have gone from Game Boy Advance to Nintendo DS and also on to Nintendo 3DS using mm -hmm. the connectivity features to bring their Pokemon with them on adventures through various regions Yay, along the way. Bits. 
These Pokemon the exist beyond Lola. just a single so game and hardware device and have the become place. irreplaceable to their trainers. This special relationship is something unique to the Pokemon world. With so many different parts of this Pokemon world, we wanted to make a single location where they could all come together and use that to deliver a new experience that not only connects Pokemon with a variety of games, but also pl connects players with each other. We're calling what it Pokemon Home. What are you Home. talking about? Pokemon Home? Is that going to be like the new Pokemon? Well, the behind Pokemon Home is to be a place where all Pokemon can gather. But yay! Pokemon Home. Cloud service that will work with smartphone Pokemon Bank, that's what Switch. I was talking about. And it will allow you to bring over the Pokemon that have shared in your adventures. So that's going to be the new Pokemon Bank now. A service, a Pokemon, a, a service called Pokemon Bank that allowed players to bring Pokemon Although, from past games into the latest series of the games of the system. Oh, do I have to do that off the cell phone? Oh, please, no. Please don't make me do it off the cell phone, though. No. ...of a single system and allow for players to connect with Pokemon Bank, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, the upcoming Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games, and also Pokemon Go. And we will, of course, take care, take great care to preserve the value that each of these Pokemon have to their trainers. And in the future, the content in which you can play with your Pokemon will continue to expand even further. So is Pokemon it going to be like the Pokemon trading functionality, uh, global link anytime, anywhere, with the Dream as World? As you your smartphone with you. Trade with your friends face to face, yeah. or with anyone else from around the world. I swear, if my internet. ultimate two does not work with this Getting app, I'm gonna be so livid. In a single location together to trade all at once is another cool feature we're looking into implementing. It looks great though. I'm just gonna be upset if it doesn't even work on my cell phone. Together, we plan to launch it in early 2020. Well, yeah, Blitz, I guess you're not going to... We're working hard to create a new future um, for people and their Pokemon. Galar. To it. Anytime soon. Although that's been the same for a lot of Pokemon games. We also plan to reveal more news about Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield on June 5th next week at 6 a.m. on Pacific Time. And not wait. I'm definitely so recording that. I might even live stream it. Thank you, Mr. Masuda. Next, uh, please take a look at this video. Ooh, video, video! Is this for Pokemon Go again? It seems like it. Um, yep, that's Pokemon Go. Oh, I wish I could play that again. Oh. I feel like at this point I would need to find a tablet that would work with Pokemon Go because I'm done with cell phones. Just done with them. into entertainment. Our daily life has become more colorful, active, and fulfilling. But this is just the beginning. Pokemon could enrich our everyday lives even further. Yeah, we do. Huh? <laughs> Yay, Pikachu! Pokemon transform sleeping in their entertainment. That's that's all it says. As you can see from the video. What? Exploring the real world was one of the themes of Pokemon Go. And through that game. Pokemon what trainers. What concept all are they the going for there though? To spend more time walking outdoors. That's so weird. We believe we are able to take the simple human act of walking and turn it into entertainment for many people around the world. Mm-hmm. He definitely made the news entertaining. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was that was inappropriate. That was not we decided appropriate. decided to focus on the act of sleeping. When you hope the Everyone game spends a large part of their lives sleeping, and turning that into out. entertainment is our next challenge Oof. at Pokemon. Today, I need to install my air conditioner. I would like to talk a little bit about how Pokemon plans to take on this task. Alright. I'm First, listening. I'll stop talking. I would like to announce that we are developing a new game called Pokemon Sleep that uses your time spent sleeping to affect gameplay. The game is being created with the help of Select Button, who developed Pokemon Magikarp Jump. The concept of this game is for players to look forward to waking up every morning. Pokemon Does Sleep Pokemon interact utilizes in information up? such as the player's time spent sleeping or the time they wake up to create a new kind of entertaining Pokemon gameplay. We is... plan to release Pokemon Sleep in 2020. This is very interesting. It's a little left field. Separately from Pokemon Sleep, oh, no. we are also working alongside Nintendo and Niantic to find more ways to turn resting into gameplay. What? There's two of them? First, let's have Nintendo come on stage to tell not us listening more about a again? new device that they are working on. All right. Please welcome All right. Mr. Mariyama from Nintendo. I was expecting them to maybe talk about a new spin-off Pokemon game that would be announced or talk about one of the ones they're working on. I didn't know about Pokemon Sleep, that's for sure. I'm Mariyama from Nintendo. I'm in charge of device development. Or Pokemon Home. Do you all remember this device? Yes, I used to own one, but it didn't work, so I sold it. Back in 2016, so this Pokemon Go Plus was developed as a device to be used with Pokemon Go. It was made to enhance the Pokemon Go experience, and many trainers out there continue to enjoy using it to this day. I'm I believe that it has helped many players so I, be more active I tried. in their Pokemon Go adventures. I really tried, but whether it was my cell phone or the device, it just didn't work. I do have that. And last year, we released well, the Pokeball Plus device, which included all of the Pokemon Go Plus functionality. Could also be used as could also be used with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee on Nintendo Switch as a controller. Are you making another new device? Is that what this is about? It also allowed trainers to put their favorite Pokemon inside the device and take them for walks. Alright, I'll wait. I'll wait for you to get done explaining it. It let us deliver a gameplay experience across multiple hardware platforms. Mm -hmm. Well, really just two games, but... Pokemon's initiative to turn sleep into entertainment is one we support at Nintendo, and we are developing a new device for it. I knew it! What is that? That we're calling Pokemon Go Plus Plus. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> After we finished development of the Pokeball Plus, Mr. Ishihara approached us with a new idea, and we began working on it together. I hope there's a clip at the back of that. It'd be nice just to clip it on as to my pants in name, case I wanted to actually buy it. Used as a standard Pokemon Go Plus device. That would be a lot Use easier. Use it as a Pokemon Go Plus while you're walking about during the day to be notified of nearby Pokestops via the LED and vibrations. Okay. And at night, you can put it on your bed. Mm -hmm. And it will track simple information about how long you sleep. It's fine. I feel like Nintendo's been trying to do this for a while. 
and the results are sent to your smartphone via Bluetooth technology. I don't have a smartphone because the phone's not even smart. By combining these sleep tracking features with the functionality I envy of so Pokemon many people device, right now. This device can help so transform many. both the time spent walking about during the day and also the time spent sleeping at night into something more fun and enriching for everyone. That's all from Nintendo for today. Back, back to you, Mr. Ishihara. Thank you, Mr. Mariyama. It's going to be interesting hearing how this sleep thing works. We also believe there are opportunities to incorporate resting into the gameplay of Pokemon Go to make it a more fun and fulfilling experience. And we're working with Niantic to explore new ideas. Let's have Niantic CEO, Mr. John Hanke, talk more about their involvement. They're focusing so much on the sleep portion and they haven't really explained what you benefit out of it, aside from knowing how you sleep, Hello, everyone. how well I'm John you sleep. From Niantic. Oh. Niantic pioneered a new kind of gaming by turning the whole world into a game board where we can all play and explore. By creating a new way to see the world and an incentive to go outside and exercise, we hoped to encourage a healthy lifestyle and to make a positive impact on our players and on the world. We're delighted to be working with the Pokemon Company on their efforts to encourage another part of a healthy lifestyle, getting a good night's rest. At Niantic, so we love exploring the world on foot. And that can't happen unless we have the energy to embark on these adventures. Mm -hmm. Very true. That is true. We're excited to find ways to reward good sleep habits in Pokemon Go as part of a healthy lifestyle. You'll be hearing more from us on this in the future. You know what? You want to talk about One sleep? I bought my pillow. I bought a my pillow because I was having trouble with sleep. So, so excited that he's decided to snorlax. take a nice relaxing nap. They're all snorlax. Nap. It's perfect. Look around at Pokemon Go, and you may find a snoozing snorlax just waiting to be collected. But don't wait too long. Once our sleeping snorlax wakes up, he may disappear. <laughs> That's it from Niantic on the subject of sleep. Thank you. Thank you, John. Hope we move on from the John whole just sleep said thing. something about Oops. a sleeping Snorlax in Pokemon Go. Mm -hmm. Cute. Very some cute. of you there may be ready to pull out your smartphones right now to check it out, but please <laughs> let me have your attention for just a little bit longer. I'm sure that by the end of our presentation today, Snorlax will start appearing in the game. Our mission at the Pokemon Company Yay. is to enrich both the real world and the virtual world with Pokemon characters. With that in mind, after having done so with walking, we now turn our focus to make sleeping more enriching for everyone. We want to turn sleep into ter entertainment. That's all for our sleep-related initiative. Thank you. I was about to for fall asleep today, myself. Look, it's very like intriguing, show off but... just a little bit more of the project oh, that Dina. DNA recently announced we are working on together. That was what I was talking about. Let's see what the we title got. is Pokemon Masters. Mm -hmm. Have I heard that before? This project... Oh no. Yay, there's a superior, though. ...began with an idea from Game Freak's Ken Sugimori what to make a game at? that featured all of the past and present... Pokemon oh. trainers from the video games. Yeah, because we got Steven and we got the Ken Sugimori also created this key art that represents the concept of the game. Her name, Lance. And Pokemon Masters, all of your favorite Pokemon trainers, as well as their partner Pokemon from the main series RPGs, will appear. Development is still underway, but please take a look at some gameplay footage.
Oh, that's it. I think the real question is, with Pokemon Home, let's just say, will I be able to bring my Pokemon from Galar, Carlos, Alola, whatever, and be able to use them in this Pokemon Masters app? I think that's the real question here. Next month. So please wait feel like just that's a little bit possibility, longer while we prepare but I don't know. So, what did you think? Interesting. I hope you're going to talk about some video games. There's one more small thing I'd like to share with you all. Okay. All of today's presenters, including myself, are wearing what we call Pokemon shirts. <laughs> I wish I had more of them. The first 151 Pokemon that Pokemon Go also began with are featured in original fabric designs. These designs can be mixed and matched on a website to customize and order your very own shirt Ooh. with this Pokemon shirt's service. And this is, these okay. are some of the shirts that were made. Okay. Currently, this service began in Japan and is available in uh, only select Asian territories. But... However, starting with North America and Europe, we plan to expand it to more regions around the globe. Nice. Please look forward to further details to be announced at a later date. So is that really it? And for everyone here in attendance today, we also prepared a small souvenir using the Pokemon shirt's designs, so please pick it up on your way out. Lucky. Today, in order to give you a sense of what lies in Pokemon's future, we announced some projects that are still in development or planning phases. Okay, yeah. We will reveal more details about each project separately, so please look forward to hearing more about each individual project at a later date. Hmm, that's it, huh? That's all for our announcements that's today. It. Dang it. Thank you very much. Okay. Alright, well let me talk to you guys about what I thought. It was interesting. I think Probably the one thing I was the most excited about was a Detective Pikachu sequel coming to the Nintendo Switch. I didn't get any footage for it, but there's that. Pokemon Home looks great, but I'm afraid my dinky little cell phone that I'm not sure if I have right now. Nope. I'm not sure if my cell phone can support that. So if I'm going to be able to take, let's say, my little shiny Tepig here... And move him all the way to the Galar region. I can't do it if my phone won't work with Pokemon Home. And that, that is going to be the biggest pain ever. So, and then they talked a lot about Pokemon Sleep. I, I just don't get it. I understand being able to track how well you sleep, get better sleeping habits, but I'm not sure how that is going to be able to connect the Pokemon. I just don't understand that. Pokemon Masters, it looks like a great idea. Once again, I just wonder if it's going to connect to Pokemon Home. That way you can use your own Pokemon that you've trained and probably have spent hours and hours and hours trying to get the perfect IVs. Or in my case, Blitz. Or Dank. Or any of my other Pokemon that I have befriended on my other games. So, 
it, it was good. I mean, I got to learn a few new things. It was kind of cool hearing about some of this stuff. But, honestly, it wasn't as exciting as I hoped it would be. It really wasn't. I feel like Pokemon, um, what was it? It's not Duel. It's Pokemon something. It's always Pokemon something. I'm starting to wonder if I'm even going to upload this video. Uh, okay. You know what? Let's do something a little exciting again. I'm going to open Pokemon trading cards. So, hopefully you enjoy that. Although, I'm not sure if I want to deal with this wrapping again. So, hold up. I'm going to actually grab my Lucky Dip backpack. So, BRB. It wouldn't take long. I know this isn't professional, but I... I am just burnt out on technology today. I just don't even want to bother trying to get music to work. I will say this. I promise I'll do more Pokemon content tomorrow. I promise that. I've got one new LP I want to start. I wasn't sure whether or not I wanted to do it anytime soon because I got all these other LPs, but I feel like this would be the time to do it. Anyways, the pack I'll be opening today is Pokemon Fate Glide. So, I will do that quickly. And we'll see if I get any good cards, if anything good comes out of this. So here, bleh. here's the code. You can scan it, copy these numbers, M9NJV4MYH26YW, because I'm not going to use this. And someone should. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. I found that. <laughs> I found the rare card! No! Uh, wow, I messed up really badly. Okay, I think I already know what the rare card is. Okay. Uh, let's just go through this, okay? Okay? I already know the rare cards. Let's do this. We have coughing. Hold on. Let's just focus on this camera. We have coughing. Burmy. Volibi, Larvitar, Seal. The reverse is going to be Zygarde, uh, 25%. That one's awesome. And then after the Helix Fossil Ammonite and the Random Receiver, we have Venano Spirit Link. And then we have this Autoya EX card. So, yay, good pull. Oh my gosh, I feel like today has just not gone in my favor. But you know what? That's just my personal opinion as long as it's not taken down from YouTube. Now you know it. So, let me know your thoughts on the Pokemon 2009 Pref Conference. Did you find anything worth celebrating? Did you think it was an that good? Do you think Pokemon Box is better? Not Pokemon Box. I still can't remember what it's called, but you know what? Never mind. Just just let me know your thoughts and feelings. Like I said, I'm burnt out. Sorry I don't have the energy I usually do. It's just, this has not been my day at all. I'm hoping tomorrow will be much better, but I won't find that out until tomorrow when I upload two Pokemon videos. Look forward to that. But until then, and until my next videos, this has been We to Play with all my Poke Pals. We have got, I've got nothing left to say, so I hope you enjoy your day. Catch you later.